You notice we have a spectator over there, Clark Man. <laughs> he looks like he's happy with the races. Winner! Wait one! We need to get two more cars and then the rest of the cars will be eliminated. There will be three, three, then they battle, and then the one that wins that goes over there. <laughs> the winner pile. This is all the winners. Imagine how many races had to happen for that many winners to be selected so far. Literally breaking sweat, <laughs> <laughs> running back and forth, grabbing cars. So is it a good workout? Recommend. Okay, let me get a cool shot here. Of your yeah. Lane four. Winner. Some of my eliminations go in here because they are like cars I want to see again and not be at the bottom of my bed. So they go in there. The ones that like go in there, these ones can go off the side with those two dudes. Next team. There's a whole system here. We have um, this gold car, this purple one, this blue one, this hot dog. <laughs> oh, I'm cheering for the hot dog car. <laughs> Me too. We got this truck and we got this. Okay, come on, hot dog car. Hot dog! Yeah. No! <laughs> Forklift hot dog, the only race. Hot dog! Hot dog finally gets a victory Winner. against Lane Forklift. Five. You know that really slow bus stab we have? Oh, oh there's, she's like, what's going on in here, guys? There's, there's too rowdy, too rowdy. All right, Dad, I was him against the mailman with um the... What? <laughs> what's, okay. what, what's this doing oh, in the back? Oh, carrying cargo, too. <laughs> if that comes out... They're just kicked all over your cars, dude. Dogs. If that car comes out and then goes to victory. Oh, forklift! Well, you I suck, was, mail man. That was a little cheap. <laughs> the mail truck, dude. All right, team favorites here. You got two, like, in the same cars in different colors. The, this mini car, we got this. Which, this guy's brother is over there, oh, actually. I like that. That's really cool. I have a car car like that that's translucent, and he's over there, he won. So I'm like, when I picked him out of me, I'm like, he's gonna win. We have two repeats over here too. These two have already raced, but I need I need two extra cars. All right, let's make our decision. Which one should I go with? I kinda wanna keep this dude in there. Then these two dudes go over there. I mean, I have three of these. <laughs> I don't know why. Mail time. So now we have the these dudes here. Um, we're gonna go with these three dudes. Turn T1 and go! Hey! Winner! Lane one! Oh, his bottom's really sick. Look at that. That's cool. Lock it lock. Go! Batman! Winner! Lane two! Clark's entire weekend. Weather this weekend was not good. And this week, not good. At least in the beginning of it. Friday, I hop off. Yay! Yes. <laughs> what are you doing, Bear? She's like, I gotta investigate the front. See if anything's going on out here. Hmm. Hey, Jack Frost cats. Any of those white Better cats? not be any cats out here. Right. No! I love you. Help! You have to go. <laughs> I, I drove in the trash can. <laughs> Have a good day. Welcome everyone with Clark Mitt. Ah, let's get our day started. I just finished editing the video where Clark and I went to see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem and that was fun getting to relive those memories and one of my favorite things about recording these videos. Next on the agenda is to get a workout in here at Planet Fitness, feeling the pain of not only working out here last week, felt it for about two days afterwards, but I'm also feeling the pain of not having my workout partner. Last year, Cody and I were going together and holding each other accountable, going mobile times for a week, and now it's completely up to me to do that on my own while I try to get all of the other stuff done that I wanna do. So I need to make this a priority and I need to be stopped in here. And I think filming this and documenting it for no zero days, not only does that to motivate me and hold me accountable, but maybe somebody else out there sees this is like, well, if Greg can do it, I can do it and I can assure you if that's the case, it is the case. Just like that, I am done at Planet Fitness. Have almost all of my rings closed on my watch, which is kind of interesting. Series listening. I'm not sure I understand. You shouldn't. 
it's working hard in there. My chest, oh, I hurt so bad. Tomorrow morning, I'm not even gonna wanna get out of bed. Oh! While I was in there, I decided that I'm gonna treat myself to a little bit of lunch here at Sheets. One of my go-tos at Sheets is their meatball sandwich, but today, I decided to keep it a little healthier and I got an Italian salad, which looks like it wasn't made with much love at all. <laughs> it's okay though, because you know it's all gonna go to the same place anyway. In fact, that's probably two days worth of food there. I got, for dressings, I got their oil and vinegar mix. So that should be pretty good. And they got forks and knives and everything in here. I love sheets for food, it's incredible. And you can keep it healthier than going to McDonald's. As tasty as that is. Hi babies. I got lunch for today with a dressing, and I got lunch for tomorrow with a dressing. Can I have some privacy here? You guys gotta watch me eat too? Oh my gosh. Anyways, there's my lunch for today that I shall be... Oh, actually, I've got a bonus for this. One thing Sheets doesn't put in their salad, at least the stock version of it, is pickled eggs and beets which make every salad better. On that, I'm actually gonna eat now. I'll be back when I'm doing something maybe slightly more exciting than this. Hey, Amazon, Amazon. Sometimes finding exciting things is difficult. Sometimes it's as easy as opening an Amazon box because inside the one that I pulled in from the garage, I found these lovely LED lights that can turn your entire room into that. I'm not exactly trying to do that, but I am trying to put LED lights around our screen up here because I think that would look really cool. And I found these on Amazon. They were literally like $7. And I thought, hey, this could be kind of neat for our movie nights. So for today's adventure, I'm going to install these and see what it looks like. This is actually 50 feet of LEDs. If I did my mathletics on this properly, I think I need like, oh, I did some other measuring too for some cables and things that I'm, I think I'm bailing on, but I think I need like 30 feet or something like that. It's like this, 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 I can't remember, but we've got way more than we need. The nice thing is you can actually cut these at certain points. I think they actually show it somewhere on here that it's like, hey, you can cut this or maybe not. <laughs> so well, that might be something I want to figure out, but it's got the cables and everything with it. And I think there's even an app that you can use to power these on and off. I think before we do anything, I'm gonna plug these in to see if they light up. Plug that in and then behind our duck here, I actually have a, oh gosh, I have an outlet that should work for this. And I'm just gonna kind of snake that back there so no one will ever see it. But if I hit things on here, oh, that increases the intensity if I hit the, the plus button. Oh, there's green, blue, light blue. Lots of, oh my gosh. You can even do like pulsating and stuff. That'd be a little, oh my goodness. You can actually have a rave at your house. That's wild. I'll show you my genius plan for pulling this off here. I'm gonna mount this switch like right over here. That way I can just kind of turn this on and off without ever going into the app. And then all of this, this is gets unwound. And I'm gonna put it behind the actual border of this. So I'm gonna run this like this all the way up, all the way around and then back around here to meet it where it starts with the lights. And then that should actually be pretty cool. And that wire I can actually just hide back there somehow. So you never even notice that. Although there's a lot of stuff blocking it, including Grogu. He'll block that for me. Should I turn the lights off while I do this? Will it look cooler that way? Oh yeah. One of the joys about having all of your windows facing the west is that in the afternoon, it's very hard to make your room dark, but I did my best to show you the first side that I have done. And I have to say, it looks way better on camera than it does in real life. I'm almost finding this to be unnoticeable. It's so subtle, but I did change the strategy up. I thought I was putting it on this side, but on the wall, it's so much better. Plus this is like a felt material. So I have that on the wall, just kind of went like this behind here. Didn't have to take the screen down, which is nice because that wasn't gonna happen. I would have literally just thrown these in the trash can if that was the case. But uh, I just had that stuck back there. Now I'm gonna go across the top and down there and down there until we meet. Speaking of until we meet, that's where we'll meet next after I have this all done so you can see how just awesome it is and you can save all the work that I'm about to do putting this up, which isn't really that bad. It's just, it's like sticking. 
sticking it. Before I show you the grand reveal, just remember there's a lot of light leaking in through these windows here, so it's not going to look as good right now as it will at nighttime. But nonetheless, here is a look at the finished product with the blue LED lights going all the way around it. It looks especially cool beside that bookshelf there. You can see it kind of reflecting the LEDs off that and then down here too. I kind of like that. Uh, and up top there, it's just a nice soft light. I'll turn some lights on here so I can show you if you ever think about getting one of these. I was a little nervous as to where to cut it, but what you want to do is cut it right between these spots. There's like an arrow there that you may or not be able to see. You cut that. I did that and I felt like I was on the bomb squad. It stayed on, so that was nice. I took a command strip and I put that behind there so that thing's mounted there. And I can just hit that on and off whenever I want. It's not really noticeable and not really intrusive at all. <laughs> Here's the backing. Spider-Man's actually, looks like he sprayed some web everywhere. This is the backing that the adhesive goes to. And I've got miles and miles of this, as you can see here. I'll report back on this. Once it gets dark tonight, obviously, we'll be able to see what it looks like better. We're gonna be watching some stuff down here. As cool as it is installing LED lights, I have something that I'm even more proud to show you, and that is this layout right here. Look at all this Lego stuff that I got from yard sales. This all came from this bin and this bin right here. This is all the non-Lego that I pulled out of here, which is plentiful, but I got even more Lego. And then even more because there are all kinds of Lego sets. These are Lego Chima. Lego Chima, and all of these are complete. The kid basically just went into the first bag, maybe build it, but mostly just pulled the minifigs out and then never built the rest of the sets. As you can see, bag two, never built, bag two, never built, bag two, never built. And the kid's parents, I guess, just kept buying him Lego that he just never did anything with. And this is like a decade old. These are all from 2013, 2014. Plus we got a lot of other stuff there too and some Scooby-Doo action as well, and some Minecraft. I know we got some Minecraft fans out there. If that got you excited and you wanna see more, I just made a Lego video documented all, which will be out before this one is, because I'm a little behind, as I mentioned. So you can see all that stuff in much better detail than I showed you there. I don't know how this happens, but it's now after four o'clock and Clark Man's gonna be home any minute. Ooh, that was a Porsche. Mm, there's a yellow Porsche out there. That was cool. How was school? Um, I was sitting with um, Riley. Oh yeah, on the bus. Mm -hmm. And uh, he he cut a dollar in half. He uh, destroyed the other half. <laughs> a dollar? Uh huh. And I have the other half as a money plane. <laughs> Mr. Beast is playing in real life. You could have spent that on something now. M Mr. Beast is playing. <laughs> oh gosh. How was Mr. Beast infiltrated my house? How? Can we say they love them at school? Uh, oh. <laughs> Imagine being an eight year old. <laughs> I'm playing floor lava. <laughs> no, <touch the> Parkour. <laughs> Parkour. Oh, I gotta show mom's decorations. She's got them all over the house, but here's a little bit of what she's done. Oh, I love the spider web. That's cool. Over here. Got that, and then that. Nah. That's usually over you're there. You're kind of decoration being you're wearing orange. <laughs> this guy. Oh, this thing. <laughs> She's going to town. There's batteries. <laughs> what a decoration. Wow. Hi. Oh. More over there. More over there. She does it up. We got orange pillows now. Came up with this great idea for a little snack. We have these Italian dry salami. And I started cooking these and putting cheese on them, and Clark Man loves these things, dude. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Look, he's dual wielding. Hands on my hand. Uh, watch out for the green goblin with the hot sauce. <laughs> he will crack a bottle on your head and make you die. Wow. Oh, I got this Jurassic Park thing. I was a minute figure I'll talk about that in a little bit. So it has like these little drawing things you can do. There's like connect the dots, there's like it has like some reading in it. Don't mind that touch. Activity just book. It. it has a lock. And it has, I don't know why it has a lock, but. It's kind of cool. You can use that for other stuff. And this dude, what really made me love this is there's a shovel and then there's a, what'd you say? <laughs> Down there. That's all it takes. To... I, 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 and I didn't notice that when I was on, I'm like, is that a turd? <laughs> <laughs> in my so, case. You bought the book that had a Lego minifig in it. 
Uh, there's some other ones. I just didn't look below, and I realized there's a Batman one. Oh, man. I, I was looking at him like, what, what makes it get that on there? Let's see, because I saw a little plastic thing on there. I just walk her back to class. I'm like, I should have did that. Went back through and got some more books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had some money. Logan but... was like the last one. Everyone was giggling because he was just the only one standing there. Everyone's in line. He's just walking around over there. It's overwhelming when you go into a bookstore and you're like, what am I going to get? I've got money. I've got to buy things. Oh, Lego minifig. Cha-ching! Purchase. I was going to buy a monster truck book just to get the little monster truck in there. <laughs> I'm like... That's how they get them, babe. All the books have toys with them. So it's a, uh, it's a purchase. Not all of them. Just the good ones, huh? Mm -hmm. There was this um, 25 anniversary Captain Iron Pants book. And it had Dogman in there, too. And I didn't want to act, have it accidentally reveal some of the future stuff in my Dogman books. Because I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> like if Dogman has like a robotic arm. You'll know that he lost his arm somewhere along the way. <laughs> the poop emoji. There's a guy. He needs a name. There's lots of drawing practices in here. I want you to do some of these, okay? Yeah, I'm give you instructions. <laughs> oh, Darius. 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 That's his name. We should have known. He's like. He wasn't in any of the Jurassic World movies I saw. Is this is this chocolate ice cream or dog poop, mom? Dog poop. <laughs> There's oh my this God. crazy hawk out here doing crazy stuff. Oh, can I get a shot of it going through? Of course it goes oh. into the woods right when I get my camera out. I hope it doesn't go after the turkey on. I'm thinking about going out just to kind of scare it. Yeah, that's one of the <laughs> It picks me up. <laughs> Black feathers sitting on that. Where they at? On the, in the gap through the woods, you see them? A giant black bird. Yeah, that, I see him. Yep, there, there's two of them out there. I don't think I've got quite the zoom, but he's out there. Just don't go after my chukions because they're all too dumb to realize I'm, there's a giant hawk out here and they're gonna come down and eat them all. I was like, you guys should hide. There's a giant bird that's waiting to end your life, Emily. Like, yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Man, I wish I could have got shot of that flying through. I was just like oh my gosh. two feet over the ground. Yeah, that was like tiki he's torch up, high. He's up there. He's just grazing over the tiki right. torch. Right. Right there. I saw two of them out there. Good spot in that, Clark, man. I get the Nerf gun. <laughs> yeah, it hits him. He's, he, he flies over here, picks me up. Da da. <laughs> if he took you away, help, that would be help. hilarious. That'd be you should funny. Photoshop that for the all, thumbnail. All the chicken chickens are just looking up as I start flying up away. Why was him and not us? <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all these guys out there. <laughs> Roxy. A little bit. And... Oh. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Oh, you got the light set up. Yeah. I'm kind of digging it. Here's to see what Clark Man thinks. You notice anything? Hmm. You notice anything? What? You don't notice anything? Yeah. What do you notice? Nothing. You notice nothing? Mm -hmm. I <laughs> said it once. Okay, don't spell this. Bear, you're smarter than an eight year old. Do you like it better on or off? Maybe better on. <laughs> I just did all that work for nothing. No!